Welcome to Urban Knife Guy, where we explore the urban lifestyle and jungle survival. Today, I'm going to give my six month review on the James brand, the Ellis. And I'll share with you my thoughts of using this knife and having it as part of my EDC rotation over the past half a year. If you want to watch the original video where I shared my initial thoughts and the specifications for the knife, do check out the link in the card above or the description below. First, if you watch this channel regularly but have not subscribed, please do so and support the channel. Thanks, I really appreciate it. So this particular knife has been on my EDC, I guess, body or my pouch or my bag for past six months. Now I should mention, I live in two different countries. So I actually have two sets of EDCs, one in each. Uh, so I carry different things depending which country I'm in and I kind of split my time there. So I don't bring my knives back and forth if I can help it. But I'll share how I juggle my knives between two countries in a later video. But this is definitely in my EDC at uh, one point or another in a month. And I've carried it for six months and I still enjoy it. You can see it's uh, got a lot of my oil absorbed into this green micata scales. So this is the one with the green micata scales and the silver blade, which is the combo serrated and straight edge blade. And when I got this, there are only three versions of this knife that you could get. Now you can get a whole bunch of versions. You can get yellow scales, blue scales, pink scales. Uh, you can get a silver blade, black blade, a complete straight blade, or the combo blade like this. Now, if I had a choice and I could buy a straight blade at that time, honestly, I might have just bought the straight blade because it's more conventional and you're more used to that. And this particular knife is meant for an urban EDC and I don't really see myself needing that serrated blade. You know, unlike an outdoor folder when you're outside, then this can be quite useful for cutting cordage, uh, wood and stuff like that. Stuff that you need to really kind of bite in and saw through. Uh, but for an urban EDC, you don't really need that serrated blade, at least in my opinion. But having said that, this serration has never really gotten in the way of anything, but I would say that most of my cutting is always done with this top half of the blade anyway. So this is really underutilized. Maybe I've used it once or twice on paracord, uh, but that's just about it. Now this is a slip joint, so there's no locking mechanism, but it's got a nice half stop for safety. And uh, what's good is, and the reason I also bought it is because it's got the multi-tool in the form of a scissors. Let's just get that out. I just cut my nails, so I don't have the nails. Uh, but this is actually a very nice robust pair of scissors, even better in terms of the strength uh, and the size compared to the Victorinox, uh, but both cut well. But here's the irony, why I bought it for the scissors, honestly, I haven't really used the scissors much. I've used the blade a lot, but not the scissors. And even for my Victorinox Swiss Army knife, which I also carry as part of my EDC rotation, I thought I'll use these scissors quite a bit, but I haven't, you know, I've, I've used the blades much more. Uh, I would use the blade uh, even if I you know, do need the scissors, or I can use the scissors, I will use the blade instead. There's also this pry bar kind of screw, flat hit screwdriver. I have used this a couple of times maybe, uh, not often. I've used this to unscrew and tighten uh, screws, and specifically the uh, screw to a tripod, which I did just before the filming for this. Other than that, it's not really practical. It's quite big. You can't use it for any other screws, and I've really got nothing to pry. Uh, but I guess it's a good to have. So overall, I still think this is a great knife. I think it looks good. The only thing, uh, I guess the downside, if you call it that, and I know a lot of people have some issue with it, is the price. So this is 119 US dollars excluding shipping, and it is very pricey for what it is. It is a slip joint with the scissors. The steel is 12C27, which is a budget steel. So if you're talking about other brands, other knives with the same specs, you can get it at one third or half the price. In a previous video, I shared five Urban EDC slip joint knives. I had the Ellis in it, as well as the Boker Plus Tech 2 One, the Real Steel Luna, Civivi Trailblazer, and the Victorinox Bantam. And all these knives are cheaper than the Ellis. Now the Ellis does have the extra scissors because uh, these are all single blade knives except for the Bantam. And of course, if you get a Victorinox, you can get uh, scissors inside uh, 
you know, depending on the model you get. But it'll still be cheaper than the uh, Alice. It's going to be half the price. So that's something to consider if you are looking at a knife like this. Really, you are paying for the brand, the design, and of course, their marketing. They're doing a great job, honestly. So I don't fault them for that. And they have kind of created a knife uh, with that scissors combo that no one really does in this quality. And I mentioned before in my other video, also the thickness of the blade. That's what I like about this as well. It's the thickness of the blade. The stock is thick, uh, which I like. So I do feel it's robust and it's thicker than, let's say, uh, Victorinox or even this uh, Tech 2 one. So that's something to consider. I hope you enjoyed the six month review on the Ellis. Do you own this knife? What do you think of it? Do you think it's overpriced and you would never get it? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like the content in general, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.